Bullshit. What is it? Some might define it as a literal bull of shit. Some might define it as someone who's a liar. For a mini example, cruelty is taking advantage of someone's sadness or misfortune. For a mini example, welcome to Attack on Shuruq. Why am I attacking Shuruq? For probably the reasons I've mentioned earlier in the video. A family recently lost their daughter here in Anaba. And this news station, Shuruq, like sneaky vampire Jews, decided it was a good idea to get an interview from this family the very day they found out about their daughter. This is so unethical. How can you be so fucking heartless and go film a broken family and ask about how their daughter, how their daughter died? And for what? To fill their daily scheduled news quota. In other words, for view. I highly doubt they cared about the family. And I am holding responsible everyone from the director, producer to the cameraman who could have easily just said no to the job. In this video, they interviewed the man, the, the father who lost his daughter. How, how could you do this? Can't you see that this is a broken man and is unable to share his feelings? Because this isn't news. The people do not need to know about this kind of stuff. This is a private moment between a man and his family and his neighbor and loved one. Us as public, we do not need to know about this. This isn't urgent new. Like I said, this isn't ASAP new. This is a family moment that you so unrespectfully and rudely interrupted and possibly ruined. In other words, And you think this is bad? Look at the interview with the, the victim's brother. <laughs> Is this a fucking question? This is a disgrace. And watch again, he tells him Then he asks her Yeah. He says I think when somebody says You fucking idiots. You Oh my fucking Quite frankly, I am outraged by this. And I take responsibility of everything that I say when I say that this is not journalism. And trust me, I am not speaking from my mind or because of my feelings here. If studying law ever taught me one thing, is that you have to do a lot of research and you have to prove what you're talking about. That is exactly what I'm about to do. So I did research rules of journalism and ethics of journalism. I will put the link in the description box. The Society of Professional Journalists, Code of Ethics, says under minimize harm. Ethical journalism treats source, sources, subjects, colleagues, and members of the public as human beings deserving of respect. Did they apply this? I do not think so. Journalists should balance the public's need for information against potential harm or discomfort. Pursuit of the news is not a license for arrogance or undue intrusiveness. Did they respect this? I don't fucking think so. Show compassion this is an important one. Show compassion for those who are affected by the news coverage. Use highlighted sensitivity when dealing with juveniles, victims of sex crimes, and sources of subjects who are inexper inexperienced or unable to give consent. I doubt the kid could give, give cons gave consent. Consider cultural differences in approach and treatment. You know, I think they know these rules. And hatohum wini hato shema you know, I think when you study to become a journalist and then you become a journalist, you are obliged to work by these rules, by these ethics, right? But no, since Shuruq thinks that we do not know these rules, then they can just bypass them or break them and think it's okay. Well, eat hot horse shit. I'm a comedian. I shouldn't be the one making this video. But I felt a responsibility to, to make it. Even if they don't see it or this doesn't get a lot of views. I just want to get it out there. <laughs> I know now how Shamsuddin felt. You know, he's a great comedian. He had enough of how the system works. That's why he made, back when he made Mansul Tish. Finally, I finally know how you feel, man. I felt a, res I felt a responsibility to make this video. Not a need, a responsibility to talk about this it's 
the people need to know it's not okay to take advantage of people when they are in the ground because they're sad or because they're weak or because of their misfortune that is not okay they should have given them a few days then report this and this isn't the first time a shuruq interrupted a family moment remember that girl Salsabil I think her name I forgot her name anyways do not get poisoned by what the TV says do not let the TV the internet or anyone else for that matter dictate how you should feel and how you should think think for yourselves feel for yourselves speak up I still I still think this is a violation of privacy I want you as a viewer or them if they see this video to know that we are not ignorant you are not ignorant we can always say something we can always say something about this I just did that's all I have to say for now take care sorry this is this this isn't a comedy video this is kind of a drama video I don't know just